This is a quick overview of the new multiplayer demo in Dungeon Architect. So the way this works is the server first decides on the seed that uh, will be used for generating the dungeon and this seed is replicated to all of the clients and then the clients they start building the uh, building the, the dungeon and during this time the server waits for all the clients to to finish building the dungeon and once that is done it starts the game by teleporting the teleporting all the players to the uh, basically teleporting the player start actors to a valid platform and then it lets the game start which uh, makes these these characters spawn in the right position uh, you need to first change this if you want to test multiplayer change the number of players and choose new editor window So you can set as many players as you want. So we have, uh, for this demo, we have just two blueprints. We have the game mode and we have a custom player controller. So the game mode is where the logic is and the player controller is used for building the dungeon on the client's machine. So let's start with the game mode. Now the game mode resides only on the server. We don't have a copy of the game mode on the client. So this code will run on the server when the game starts. And uh, we, we decide on, we just wait for a bit. You know, usually you would wait in your code also, but if you don't get this delay, then uh, it starts running this code before the, the other clients have logged in. So uh, I have given a small delay. Now. Uh, the server decides on a dungeon seed and you go ahead and save this dungeon seed on a variable now you might want to save this in a game state uh, but for simplicity i've just saved it in the game mode itself and then uh, finally we we grab all the players we get all the player controllers and we call the build dungeon function and we pass in the seed so this is going to call the call the build dungeon function on the player controller. So here I have set the replicates to run on owning client. So what this would do is uh, it would run the run this function on the client machine, not on the server, on the client. So this, this means that your dungeons will be created on the client, on the, all the client machines. So we start by finding the dungeon actor and uh, yeah, and before we start building it, we want to hook on to the on build complete event and then then we want to set the seed that was sent by the server and then go ahead and call build so this will build the uh, build the dungeon on the client and after it is built we we want the client we want the server to wait till all the clients have built the build the uh, dungeon so that we can start the game till then the server would wait so for that we hook on to the on build complete function uh, event and when that is done, we call a custom event called server notify build complete. So if you look at the replicates function, I have set this to run on server. So when you call this, this would go back and run this code on the server. And here I get the game mode and I call notify player ready. So if I switch back to the game mode, there's a function notify player ready. And all it does is it increments the num player ready variable. So this variable is useful in, uh, in knowing whether all the clients have uh, finished loading. Now here I have overridden a function called ready to start match. So this is a, uh, an UE4 function, you'll find it in this list. Uh, this function will be called repeatedly as, uh, and if you return true, then your game would start, otherwise it would stay in spectator mode, which is what you see here. See, it's in spectator mode till the game so here I wait for all the all the clients to to load. So when they when all the clients have loaded, this would be equal. And uh, I also have a guard game initialized, uh, which you can see here. I set it to true only after I have sent the build request. Uh, and when everything is done, we we return true. Otherwise, we return false. And if uh, if all the players have loaded, then we call this function. And the Unreal would, if we return true, Unreal would then start the game.
right? Uh, but I also start initialize the player start. So we have the player starts in the map here. We are going to destroy all of these player starts and create new player start actors on valid platform locations. So you've seen this code in uh, in the other samples. We just find a valid location uh, on a dungeon and go ahead and place uh, place our uh, player start actors. So to test this on your map, simply go to settings, world settings, and uh, and overwrite this to this game mode. Now I have also, if you go to class defaults, I have also set the player controller to my player controller that I have here. You can try it on other maps also. So if you go to the, uh, the Infinity Blade, let's get a copy of this. multiplayer now let me open up the uh, the level blueprint and delete everything that we have here. we don't need it because this logic is is there in the game mode now go to settings world settings and select our multiplayer game mode So we, we might want to create some more player starts inside because we have multiple players. Uh, there's one more thing uh, you will have to delete this the loading room dungeon is going to delete it because the way I've uh, the way I have structured the code is it finds the first dungeon actor and it's finding the dun loading room dungeon actor we don't want this to so remove it so so our code picks up this this uh, main level dungeon actor uh, there's something I need to this team I added, just want to remove that. Okay. So here you have your you have all the players uh, spawning. So the player start code can you can improve the player start code. It it clubs all these guys near near the same position. So sometimes the spawning will fail. So you can easily fix that by choosing another another cell location for each player. So this will work with uh, any number of players. So you can find this demo in the quick start guide and uh, you can get in touch with me in discord if you have any any queries.